have got the best tips and tricks for the S23 Ultra with the new 200 megapixel camera, Astro Hyperlapse, some sweet S Pen customization, and a few new powerful tools that are just insane. So stick around, because by the time we're done, you'll be a pro. So starting with some pro tips you definitely want to know, if you swipe down on the quick settings menu and tap and hold on the sound icon, then mute, you actually get this really cool temporary mute option where you can choose from a couple of hours or a custom time. This way you don't need to worry about turning your sound back on because your ultra will do it for you. Another really cool thing you're definitely going to want to do is head into the widget section and add a brand new battery widget. So there's two different types you can choose from and they can both be customized a little bit more if you click and hold down on them and then tap the settings icon. So in here you can adjust the transparency and some other things but you can also decide what devices to show and even reorder them so you have the perfect battery widget. Then speaking of battery, this is such a cool feature. So if you're playing a game and start running out of juice, you can plug in your charger, but then scroll down and tap on open game booster. Because if you click on the settings icon and scroll down, you will see this option, pause USB power delivery. And now instead of directly charging the battery and heating your phone up, it'll bypass that and power just the Snapdragon chip instead. Literally a game changer. But now let me show you a few tricks you can do with this bad boy. Okay, now if you've never really used the S Pen, then you've got to check out these tips because these will totally change your mind. If you head into the advanced features under settings and tap on S Pen, in here you will see more S Pen settings and then you can toggle on S Pen Unlock. And what this does is once you've put in your screen pin or pattern, you can just click the S Pen button and it'll automatically unlock your phone for you. But what is also so cool is you can turn your S Pen into a wand. Honestly, this feature is so underrated because your S Pen is practically a remote for your phone. So if you click the button while watching YouTube, you can pause and play content. You can navigate through your gallery by clicking and swiping left, right, up, or even down. You can even adjust the volume on Spotify by just clicking and swiping up or down. And there's still so much else you can do with it. Now, that is quite wonderful. But probably one of my favorite things you can do with the S Pen is if you download Pentastic from the Galaxy Store and open it up, you can actually choose a custom pointer. There's a couple default options you can choose from and even increase the size, but if you go right to the end, there is a custom option. And here is where you can open up the gallery and actually select whatever picture you want, like this Harry Potter wand, and use that instead of a boring old circle. There are so many different cool and creative options you can come up with for your pointer, and if that wasn't cool enough, you can even choose a different sound like this. Or you can scroll to the end and once again, choose a cool custom option. So I went with the whole Harry Potter theme and downloaded the sound effect Lumos. Now it'll make this sound whenever I remove my S Pen. And this sound when I put it back in. Magical. Now surprisingly, a lot of people have no idea you have so many cool options when it comes to screenshots. First up, with the S Pen, you get something called Smart Select where you can screenshot any specific part of your screen and then save that in your gallery. But what you can also now do with screenshots is once you've taken one, you might notice this little text icon and if you tap on it, you can now highlight and select any text within that screenshot and then copy, paste it or even share that text to wherever you want. But what you can also do with screenshots is actually hide the status bar and navigation. So within advanced features under settings, if you tap on screenshots, over here you will see this option to hide status and navigation bar. So now anytime you take a screenshot, it won't show your battery percentage and Wi-Fi, all that jazz. It'll just keep what's important. Now you might be wondering why we haven't gotten to the cameras yet, but that's because there are so many cool new gallery features I just gotta show you. First up, if you tap and hold on any picture, it'll automatically separate the subject from the background and you can save that as a PNG image. This is such a cool feature and I'm so glad you can now do it on Samsung's. And the great thing is it'll work on people, objects and even animals. And not only that, you can even pause a video, scrub to any frame and then believe it or not, if you tap and hold, it'll auto crop the object out of there. As you can see, this does a pretty good job at automatically cropping things out, but there is definitely still a bit more room for improvement. 
But what has improved is this next feature within editing called Object Erase. Once you've opened up a picture, you can actually tap on multiple subjects just like this, then hit that erase button and ba bam just like that, you no longer have people in your background. You can even do this on any picture. It does not have to be one from your gallery and look at what a good job it does. Then another epic feature I have really been enjoying is Remaster Picture. This option actually uses AI to decide how the picture would look best and fills in any missing information to basically get the best results. Then you can even go and add a portrait effect to a non-portrait picture. So you can add this depth effect to any picture and even decide what blur you want. So cool. So the S23 Ultra has a brand new 200 megapixel camera. If you click on aspect ratio, right to the left is the 200 megapixel mode. And once that's on, you can take some sweet shots. It is so crazy to me at just how much detail the 200 megapixel camera picks up, even when you just take pictures of objects. But the trick to getting the most detail is to physically zoom in and take your picture as opposed to taking it far out and then cropping in. So just something for you to keep in mind to get the best pics. And Samsung also took the cameras to another level by adding expert raw into the camera app itself. So from here, you can adjust the ISO, the speed, megapixels, and even focus right within the camera app. And the best thing about raw is you can still edit the heck out of your pictures after the fact and keep all those details. So as you can see, Samsung is really doing the most when it comes to their cameras. And let's not forget, you can still take selfies or general pics using that nifty S Pen. But now let me show you what you can do with this puppy's video. Now there is such a cool new video feature within the S23 Ultra, but it's actually quite hidden. So if you tap on hyperlapse and then this little icon in the top right hand side, in here you'll see this 300 times option. And if you tap on that, you can actually capture the movement of stars. But do make sure you also toggle on star trails because once you sit back and relax, you'll capture the most stellar astro hyperlapse. Then the stabilization mode also got a massive improvement. So to make sure you get the smoothest videos, always make sure you toggle on super steady, you will not be sorry because I was actually running in this video and it is insane at how stable it is. So the S23 Ultra's cameras are definitely tip top, but so are these next top tips. <laughs> Okay, now you guys seem to love the cold screen backgrounds, but what you may not have known is you can actually customize it for each contact. So if you go and edit a contact of yours and tap on cold screen background, you can now select a background cold screen that'll only appear when that person calls. So I just went and selected this custom one I created, which you can download from my website, link will be in the description. And I'm not gonna lie, I love this feature. But if you wanted to customize it to the absolute ultra, then definitely check out my Samsung Ultimate customization video. Another really Really cool top tip for you guys is you can actually set multiple timers. So let's just say you had a five minute time and you press start right up there. If you click the plus icon, you can start another timer. So whether you need something for 10 minutes or five minutes, you can do as many as you want. You can see them in a list view. And when you swipe up to the home screen, they even appear in this pop-up window. Man, this is actually so useful. And hopefully no one ever needs to use this, but if you're ever stuck in a pickle, you can press the side button five times and call the hole. Then inside your settings, you'll also find this brand new section called connected devices. And as you can imagine, this is where you connect to your things like your buds, TV, watch, as well as car, all in one place. Nice. Now the S23 Ultra has one of the best displays, but what makes it even better are these extra features. So if you tap on these three dots and toggle on extra brightness, this makes your screen so bright that you'll be able to see your display no matter what the lighting situation. And the same thing goes for this next feature, which is also found within the quick settings. All you do is click on the plus icon and make sure you add on extra dim. And what this is great for is if you're in bed at night or in a dark room and really want to darken your screen, just toggle on extra dim and look at what a massive difference this makes. And then to get the absolute most out of the screen, if you head into display settings and scroll down to screen resolution, out of the box it is set to FHD+, but do yourself a favor, toggle it up and you'll get the sharpest visuals. But besides an ultra display, this bad boy also comes with some ultra security. 
Now, let me show you a really cool feature within battery and device care. Right at the bottom, you'll see this brand new mode called maintenance mode. And if you turn this mode on, basically what it does is protects all your privacy by removing pictures, messages, applications, and a whole bunch of things so that you're left with a stock screen that says maintenance mode and you can send your phone in for repairs with no worries. Then something else you may not have known is with insecurity and privacy, Samsung have made it so easy for you to see what needs a little extra attention. So if you see any exclamation marks, tap on the tabs, then follow the prompts on the screen, like scanning your phone or signing in for two-factor authentication, whatever it takes to secure your phone and remove any threats. I mean, it's actually so easy. So usually I don't recommend Bixby, but hear me out because surprisingly, Bixby is actually getting better. Okay, now hold on because let me show you exactly what I mean by going into the call settings. Right over here, if you tap on Bixby text call and toggle this on, not only can you select a language, but you can also choose a voice. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. And so now whenever you get a call, this is where the magic happens. If you answer the call using Bixby, she'll actually start transcribing the entire conversation. I'm using Bixby text call to convert your voice into text. And then what happens is as the other person talks, she transcribes it word for word. And you can just type in your response and she'll read it out. Mouthful. This is honestly such a cool feature and I was so surprised at how well it works. So definitely try it out. Eating breakfast. Be there in 10. So now that you guys are pros, let me know what your favorite feature was and hit that sub button if you want to see how the 23 Ultra stacks up against the 14 Pro Max. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!